unless you travel into the vacuum of space, the sound is all around you every day. But most of the time, you probably don't think of it as a physical presence. You hear sounds, you don't touch them. The idea that something so intangible can lift objects can seem unbelievable, but it's a real phenomenon. Acoustic levitation takes advantage of the properties of sound to cause solids, liquids and heavy gases to float. The process can take place in normal or reduced gravity. In other words, sound can levitate objects on Earth or in gas-filled enclosures in space. History of Acoustic Levitation The discovery of the phenomenon of acoustic levitation goes back to 1886 when it was observed that dust particles in a Kunst tube were concentrated at the pressure nodes of a standing wave generated in the tube. This was considered to be the effect of the non-linear acoustic radiation pressure generated by the acoustic waves the research for which was conducted by Rayleigh. Acoustic levitation is a method for suspending matter in a medium by using acoustic radiation pressure from intense sound waves in the medium. Sometimes sound waves at ultrasonic frequencies can be used to levitate objects, thus creating no sound heard by the human ear. The Physics of Sound Levitation A basic acoustic levitator has two main parts, a transducer, which is a vibrating surface that makes sound, and a reflector. Often, the transducer and reflector have concave surfaces to help focus the sound. A sound wave travels away from the transducer and bounces off the reflector. Three basic properties of this traveling, reflecting wave help it to suspend objects in midair. You can also make your own portable acoustic tractor beam. For more follow the link in the description. If you learn something then like the video and subscribe Talk with Deck to learn new amazing stuff every day.